Welcome to Live from the Internet, the 2021 Marty Party Variety Show. I'm your host, Red Dude Barbachanu, coming to you live from the Internet. Just kidding. I'm actually here at Art League Houston. The Marty, aka Montrose Art Party, is an annual celebration of the Healing Art Program. The Marty is held in conjunction with the Healing Art Exhibition and Small Gems Silent Auction. All funds raised during the Marty go directly to the exhibiting artists and support the healing art program for the following year. While healing art classes have met virtually this past year, the artist community has stayed close and connected. Tonight we will visit the 2021 Healing Art Exhibition and hear from some of the artists in this year's show. We'll also visit a fab show in the front gallery, Friday Drive, featuring work by Emily Sloan and Rebecca Bass peruse the Small Gem Silent Auction and break for some very special performances by Roberta Paxio Cortez and Houston's own Poet Laureate Outspoken Bean. Before we jump into tonight's festivities, have you registered to purchase pieces from the show tonight or bid on the collectibles in the silent auction? If you haven't, now is the perfect time. There are people standing by to take your bid right this second and the auction and sale closes tonight at the end of the variety show. Let the festivities begin. Welcome everyone to the 2021 Marty. My name's Audra White, president of the board of directors of Art League Houston and co-chair of the Marty, along with my good friend and colleague, Nima Farzane. I'm pleased to be a co-chair of this year's Marty program. The Marty is a huge fundraiser for Art League Houston and supports the healing arts program. I wanted to thank each one of you who purchased a sponsorship, as well as all of our corporate sponsors. Without you, the Marty would not be a success. I also wanted to thank each one of the artists who donated art to the silent auction. Please go and bid on some art. This all directly helps the Healing Arts Program and Art League Houston. Finally, I want to thank each one of the participants in the Healing Arts Program. So one of the things I feel like we're celebrating tonight is just being able to be out celebrating it all. I mean, I don't know about you, Nima, but quarantine last year was kind of a bummer. How was it for you? Well, the pandemic happened so fast. 2020, glad that it's past. Had a planner, full as could be. Now it's empty. Wanna zoom me? Quarantine drifted away. Good rid to those bummer nights. Oh well, oh well, oh well. Oh. I'm so bored. I'm so bored. Did you go very far? I'm so bored. I'm so bored. Barely got in my car. Uh uh. Uh uh. Da 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 da. da. Started baking homemade sourdough. Red War and Peace. Three times in a row. Quarantinis, pour another round. Don't know why I gained 20 pounds. Summer, Summer fun, 
but nothing's begun. So sick of this bomber night. Oh well, oh well, oh well, oh ho. I'm so bored, I'm so bored. Sweatpants are my new suit. I'm so bored, I'm, I'm so bored. bored. Nima, I think you're on mute. Ba 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 ba. Almost over. Now that I'm vaxxed, leaving the house a bit more relaxed. Hug my grandma, do you remember me? Your favorite grandson, no, not Mayor Pete. Summer, Summer dreams were ripped at the seams. Farewell to those bomber And those were our amazing co-chairs for the 2021 Marty. A quick round of applause for their amazing work this evening. And what do we have here but the fancy schmancy wheel of chance, where for tonight's first half of the program, we will be spinning it to choose our own adventure to see where fate takes us. Let's go ahead and take our chance with the wheel of chance. Oh my God, we've landed on the main gallery. I am so excited to explore all of the amazing artwork that we have in store. So let's go. Welcome back and thank you for joining me here in the main gallery of Art League Houston. I am so excited that the Wheel of Chance brought us here. Behind me and around me is some fabulous artwork from all of these students in the Healing Art Program. Audience, you've heard about the Healing Art Program. Now let's take a look at some of the amazing artworks all around us. To my right, we have artist Deborah Sims. Deborah was one of the first artists whose work I collected during my first Montrose art party years ago. And usually she gives us these beautiful animals on polished stones, but this year she's painted these fun, lively animals on these beautiful canvases. So good.
You've seen the artwork. Now let's hear from a few of the artists themselves. My name is Rodney Queenan. My pronoun is him and his. I basically work in acrylic, but uh, I also do uh, a little bit of oil. But uh, I like to build up my canvases, so I use a lot of texture. We well, you know there's a lot of things been going on this year. Uh, the protests been going on, the uh, pandemic, um, the election came up. So those were my inspiration of the works I did uh, during that time. Healing art uh, changed my life. I, uh, when I was first uh, diagnosed, I uh, was suffering from depression. And a friend of mine told me to uh, go to Healing Art. And uh, I decided to come to the class back in the late 90s. And I had never picked up a brush or uh, anything in my life. And I was also reluctant in coming. But in the meantime, I went on and came, but I was always geared toward abstract. And uh, I had a really good instructor to kind of just help me guide to do what I felt like I needed to, my calling was. And I had been doing abstract ever since. So abstract, I mean, coming to Art League has been just a great way for me to heal to uh, painting. Well, I, I want to do uh, larger uh, pieces of art. Uh, I'd like to also uh, showcase stuff in other places other than just in Houston. I would like to do some things abroad as well. My name is Julie Cervantes. My pronouns are she and her. I like to work in acrylic and I love to put resin on it to make the paintings pop and to make them glossy and shiny because that way they really look finished. To me, art is an expression of one's self. I mean, and it helps you explore what your ideas, and it helps you to relate to people, to get your point across, in other words. I mean, see, when I was, when I first got in your, I couldn't speak. So I used art to relay my, my thoughts and feelings. To me, healing art has, helped me immensely with my recovery. I can't even begin to describe. It has helped me with relationships. It has helped me with understanding of how to, to paint. I mean, you can't even, I can't even begin to describe there is the there is the art on one hand. It is really healthy to understand art and painting and and so forth. But then there's also the community part, where where, where your relationship with people. I mean, like you see your friends, and you have. You have time to relate to them because you're all in the, the same goal. You all have the same goal, like an art show person. But everybody has their own limitations and you understand that. And you, you are considerate of that. I mean, you make allowances for everybody limitations. I am so excited about life period. I mean everything. I mean we're I think I think we're just we are in a perfect place. We are in a perfect perfect 
awesome place because the world is the world is opening up. I mean, we were in this pandemic for a whole year. I mean, forever. It seemed like, and, and now we're getting back to normal. But we will never get back to actual the way we were before, and we shouldn't because we were a bit on the lame side. But but now everything is getting so. Every you have new a new appreciation for everything. I mean, I frankly, I'm very excited. My name is Ali Kalak and I'm she, her. My mediums of choice are watercolor, acrylic, and I've been picking up charcoal and graphite again. So what kept me going is the art is, it's so relaxing, it's so peaceful and with all the chaos that's been going on it's really kept my mind where it needs to be and not worrying about everything so so dealing in the art it's been just very relaxing and it keeps me down to earth it keeps me attached to reality that this pandemic is going to end at some point and things will go back to normal. So healing art has impacted me in motivation with um, pushing me to work on, work on my work, um, to work on the practice and to really hone in my skills with watercolor and with acrylic it's been my beginning in acrylic it's um, really helped me to go for it I'm very very new with it but it's pushed me to want to keep trying it and keep working with it and um, as far as healing art, like the people, they are just amazing. They are inspiring me to do more art because their art is so fantastic. <laughs> and I've made some great friends, um, some really, really great friends here. And before this, uh, socially, I was very withdrawn and socially awkward, and I'm still socially awkward, don't get me wrong. But I wouldn't go out much, and I wouldn't talk to people, so this has given me an environment with which I can do that, but feel comfortable because it's art focused. I would like to work on collaborations next. Um, working with other artists like Jose Luis, who's also a member of Healing Arts. Working with him on a collaboration would be great. Um, he's fantastic with acrylic and I think that me coming from a watercolor background i tend to have more movement in my art whereas he is very not very but he's kind of more on the realistic side of things and i think that the two would be an interesting they would make an interesting piece. Yeah.
Oh, hi there. Welcome back to the show. I hope you really enjoyed hearing from some of those artists. If you hadn't had a chance to bid on the artworks that are up for the silent auction or purchase the art by the Healing Art Program, go to the website listed on the ticker below and check out the amazing artworks and make your bid now. Welcome back folks at home and thank you for standing by to our live studio audience. I hope you've had a chance to bid on some of your favorite artworks from the silent auction or buy some of the artworks by our creative students in the healing art program. We are back at the wheel of chance to take that chance and spin and see where we go next. Take that chance! You want a brand new car! And here we are in front of the Wheel of Chance for the last time tonight. So let's spin and see where Chance takes us. Take that chance! Oh my God, I'm so excited. I've been waiting for this all night. Tonight, we have the one, the only, Roberta Summers. Roberta and her dancers will be taking the stage momentarily and they will Blow your mind. Oh, I finally made it. Oh, sorry I'm late. Traffic was terrible. I know, but thank God the Marty is online this year. I'm so excited. Did you get your bids in? I don't know how to bid. How do I bid? Whoa. Go to this website! Right here! Right here! Oh, we made it! Oh, thank you! Right. This is going to be so much fun! I'm really excited for this. Me too. I've got the fever. It is Saturday night! <laughs> uh, do you want to practice those moves that we talked about? Yes, I think that would be a great idea. Oh, yeah. So boring. I think we need to spice it up. I know. Ready? Five, six, seven, eight. I think I'm gonna do a little bit of spin. And yeah, maybe if you do like. Exactly. She's gonna love that. Across the face. By the way, where is she? I know. Maybe she got stuck in traffic. Take your marks. Okay. 
Ready. Holy guacamole, wasn't that phenomenal? I hope our folks at home and those in our live studio audience enjoyed that performance as much as I did. Welcome to the second half of tonight's festivities where we'll be enjoying the front gallery and the Small Gems silent auction. And I just have to take a second here to breathe in this amazing exhibition. Emily Sloan and Rebecca Bass are both healing arts instructors and have been working together for over a decade and this is their first collaboration for an exhibition together. Let's hear it from Rebecca Bass and Emily Sloan. Hi, welcome to the front gallery at Art Lee Houston. My name is Epi Todd. I'm the Director of Community Engagement uh, at Art League Houston, and I am so pleased to be here this evening with the two amazing artists from the show, Friday Drive, Emily Sloan and Rebecca Bass. Now, Emily and Rebecca, along with being the exhibiting artists in the front gallery, are actually the instructors of the Healing Art Program and have both been with the program for quite a few years. Now, the role of the teaching artists and the instructors in healing art is it's really the glue that keeps the program together and that was true before the pandemic during the pandemic i have to say emily and rebecca really kept this community together by being so flexible and pivoting from in-person sessions seamlessly into virtual online sessions, being there for tech support, being there to call people on the phone, text them, stay in connection in all of the ways, um, and really continue to provide that support system for the participants of the Healing Art Program. So each year, Art League Houston honors someone or some ones who are deeply connected to the program and are supportive of the efforts. This year, we chose to honor Emily and Rebecca because they really keep this program rolling. So thank you, Emily and Rebecca, for being here with us this evening. And thank you for putting together such an amazing show. It looks so good. I get the opportunity to walk through it every day to go to my office and it just fills me with joy. Welcome. Hello. Thank you, Effie. That was a good, good intro, thank you. So, question for y'all. 
what was it like? You've been working together for years now, teaching side by side in classroom spaces. What was it like finally getting to collaborate and work together in this creative sense as you were coming up with this show? Well, it was, uh, I thoroughly enjoyed it because, you know, we got out of our teacher mode and into our artist mode, which was really, and I, you know, we spend so much time uh, being a teacher for other people that it was really kind of a cool thing to get to know Emily in a different way um, and then have just a gloriously hilarious time. We had a good time and lots of laughs and lots of creative um, input on her part. It really helped me uh, kind of guided me a little bit on what I was going to do. And it was great. Yeah, I loved it too. It was a, it was a really, uh, <clears throat> it was a fun opportunity. Um, because, I mean, we, you know, you mentioned we work together weekly, but separately too. And then also um, not on our own work, usually helping other people with theirs. So it was nice to, to do that together. And um, part of that, I was kind of, you know, with the title of the show, Friday Drive, like that's kind of like our, yes, Rebecca's cars. And then also it's our Friday motivation, you know, is we're driven on Friday. We, we have this same focus every Friday uh, and beyond. <laughs> and beyond. <laughs> it, doesn't, it doesn't stop on Friday. I mean, now that yeah. we're Zoom, it does not stop on Friday. <laughs> totally. And, uh, and like I say, lots of laughs and humor and uh, part of our tagline are colluding and colliding. We have that going on between, I think, us and then also with our classes. Uh, but generally, you know, like a coming together and sometimes that's a colluding and sometimes it's a collision. And, so, you know, so uh, yeah. Lots of, yeah, lots of fun back and forth in both in, you know, teaching and making art. It was a lot of fun. I have to say, I really enjoyed, um, I know y'all were having lots of conversations one-on-one -on -one, um, in the time coming up to the show. And I loved, you know, every couple of weeks I'd get a little tidbit of a direction that y'all were going. And it was just so fun to see it develop. And I didn't know what was coming next. Um, and I honestly didn't know what to expect for the show. And I think it changed quite a bit over time. Um, can you talk about some of the new pieces that were created for this show specifically? Well, <laughs> I, you know, I was just uh, trying to, because I like to paint, so I was just trying to do some paintings that had, uh, you know, thinking about driving or cars or travels or voyages or journeys and that kind of stuff. And, and I tend to be a real, you know, a passionate painter with the subject matter. So it was just, I, it was great. I mean, it was, it was, some, it was a, it was a good show title and, and I got a lot of good input from Emily about what direction to go with each piece. So it was good. Um, well, Let's see, like the piece that we're seeing now, that one I was thinking of kind of like a winding road, and kind of a journey and something that, but also a path that's never quite the same. Um, and to even like the orange kind of like construction on the side of the road, mm -hmm. and then the black and white picket fence. So I was kind of, I don't know if I was thinking of a road trip, but just kind of like <laughs> And the little wavy one like there. A road trip. Yeah, the little wavy one there, the flick, you know, it's just they were uh, all of these pieces were made I guess in the past few months. So uh, but with that in the in the back of my mind, but um letting them kind of evolve too. Well, it's been so much fun. Um I really enjoyed having the opportunity to uh, be part of the install of the show with the two of you as well. We've worked together for a few years yeah. now, but um, 
getting to spend that time with you in that new and different context and to kind of watch your gears turn in the install process was really fascinating. Um, and I have to say, I mean, y'all are pretty flexible. Uh, it was all very <laughs> simple and smooth. You too. <laughs> you know, when things came up, you were both like, well, let's just try something else and keep it moving. Um, and it made me think, this is the beauty of the way that you work in your practices, but it's also what you bring to your role as educators and as teaching artists. You, you know, you're honest and flexible and, and just put it out there. And I think that that's such a huge part of why the Healing Art Program is and has been successful over so many years. So I want to take the time to say thank you on behalf of Art League, on behalf of the participants of the Healing Art Program, we're very lucky to have you and very, very lucky to be able to show your work in the space. Thank you very much for joining us this evening. Thank, Thank you. you. It was a pleasure and an honor. It was. It was it, yeah. and, you know, it, you. it's just been wonderful. I do appreciate it tremendously. Mm -hmm. and, and I love, I mean, I, I, I love all my students and everybody I work with. It's been a blast. Mm -hmm. Never go moment. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us both tonight. Um, Thank you. See you again soon. Bye. Thank you. And now a quick word from our sponsors. Art League Houston would like to thank the 2021 Marty sponsors. Christopher and Christopher Art Advisory. The Heights Grocer. St. Arnold's Brewery and Bergner and Johnson Design. Thank you again to our amazing sponsors. Wow, and we are in for such a treat today. We have here with us Houston's newest poet laureate, outspoken Bean. Bean, how is it being Houston's newest poet laureate? It feels amazing. It's really great. Um, this is a city that I, um, that's adopted me and brought me in and, um, and shown me so much love. And so to be able to give that love to the city directly with my work and my craft and my art and my poetry, um, you know, it's like I'm a living love letter. So it's incredible. Wow, Bean. Thank you for professing your love to me on television You're welcome. today. You're welcome. I appreciate it. Yeah. Uh, and now a quick performance from Houston Poet Laureate, Outspoken Bean. <laughs> I reached a point of no return. Then I remembered my promise in making me a customer to my service that came with non-negotiable terms targeted as a non-Walmart's policy that I can't nor won't return myself when I left the shelf, the top one, started life. These priceless times have been tagged on me. I have to remind myself to retail. Retail oh. myself not to discount me. I am the manager on call and general. The question to how I can help you is always found on the road with the mirrors. What's new in store has always been in store. The inventory has been barcoded and accounted for. My worth is my offer. That is my only offer, attention shoppers. We have a steal of a deal. Here I am, on or in the aisle. I am no longer waiting for intercoms to announce my call. Thank you so much. Wow, Bean. Let me just pick up my jaw from the floor. That was incredible. Oh, man, thank, thank you, you for you. joining us today from your yes. busy schedule. Thank you. And thank you so much, guests, audience, folks at home. And we are going to go for a quick commercial break right now. Have you gone online to purchase or bid on your favorite artwork from this year's Marty exhibition? If not, 
Bilbo and I will want you to go to the website listed below and bid on your favorite artwork or buy your favorite piece from the Healing Art Program students. All the money goes to support artists and funds next year's Healing Art Program. So help Bilbo and I sell out this year's show and raise as much money as we can for the Healing Art Program. Isn't that right, Bilbo? The amazing part of the Small Gems silent auction is that each of these highly collectible artists is in some way connected to Artly Houston. We have instructors, past honorees, artist advisory board members, and even Patrick Palmer, who founded the Healing Art Program, as well as other famous Patricks like Patrick Renner, who installed the Funnel Tunnel in 2012 for Artly Houston. We also have Viola Buell, who is part of the installations public art installations for Arley Houston, Alex Barber, who does all of the photography for Arley Houston, and Jamie Robertson, who is an instructor for Artbound. Also part of this exhibition, we have Nissa Juno, Nicole Lemaire, and Julie DeVries. Nissa and Nicole are art instructors at Art League Houston. Julie is an artist advisory board member. On display here, we have the great work of Epi Schott, who is the Director of Community Engagement at Art League Houston, and Ronald Llewellyn Jones, who has worked on various projects for Art League Houston. Also included in the Small Gem Silent Auction are Artbound instructor Melissa Walter and past and current Art League instructors Mike Venable, Carrie Reeder, Zane Oase, Ruben Coy, and Steve Parker. And to round out the Small Gems style and auction are Terrell James, who is a past honoree, and Pritika Rajgaria, who is an instructor and a past exhibitor at Art League Houston. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. There are just a few moments left to go online and bid for your favorite artwork in this year's Marty exhibitions. So please go online, bid on your favorite artwork, and help us raise some money for this amazing program. I want to thank the audience at home and our live studio audience tonight for having such a great time with us and enjoying the first ever Marty Party Variety Show. Have a great Pride Month and good night. It looks phenomenal.
do I need to redo that? I thought I was gonna fly off its spindle. <laughs>